welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to fix virus and threat protection not found or missing in windows 11. so when you go and try to run any kind of a scan or try to use the virus and threat protection so you find that it has been disappeared it shows a blank space without any kind of security so let me quickly show you if i make a right click on windows icon go to settings then from the left hand menu option if i click on privacy and security then click on windows security so you will find that it says security at a glance and i can't find any of my protection like virus and threat protection app and browser control and the firewall protection so you may have the same issues or similar problem that you have to apply the powerful solution that i'm going to share in this video so let's quickly get started the very first thing that you will have to do click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and the black window will now be coming up now here you have to run two different commands for dism and the sfc so the first command will be dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space restore health hit the enter key now this command will be running and it may take some time so what we can do we can minimize it and then next you have to click on your windows search type windows security in this suggestion you will be getting windows security right click on it then click on app settings now here you will find background app permission so you have to make sure that it's been selected to either power optimized or always it should not be selected to never then scroll down click on terminate then below in the reset option first click on repair and then click on reset once it's been done you can close it next click on your windows search type regedit from the suggestion click on registry editor in the registry editor from the left hand menu option double click on h key local machine then you have to look for system double click on it then you have to look for current control set double click on it and then you have to double click on services and here you have to look for a folder by the name wsc svc so keep scrolling down to the w section until you find wsc svc here it is once you get it click on it and then on the right hand side you will find a dot value by the name start double click on it again and here change the value data from 2 to 0 click on ok and now you can close it next click on your windows search type gpedit dot msc hit the enter key the group policy editor will be up now in case if you get any error message or you're not able to access group policy editor then probably you are using windows 10 or 11 home edition and for that i have already created a video you can check that out and then you can come to this option so now here under computer configuration you have to click on administrative template then on the right hand side you will find windows component double click on it and here you have to look for microsoft defender security double click on it again then you will find the real time protection double click on it and here you find an option of turn off real time protection double click on it again another box will be popping up now you can see that it's been selected to enabled which should be selected to not configured so on your end also if it's been selected to enabled or disabled then select this to not configured click on apply and then click on ok so now once you are done with all this troubleshooting you will have to restart the computer and then check back if the problem has been fixed or not in case if this also doesn't work the next what you will have to do you will be getting the link in the description you will have to come to this website of microsoft once you come up here you have to scroll down and here you'll find microsoft defender antivirus for windows 11 windows 10. So depending if you're using 32-bit you can download for 32-bit i'm using the 64-bit so i will click on it and the downloading will now be started so it's around 120 mb so kindly wait until it's all been done and then finally you will have to run it so once it get downloaded you have to open the downloaded folder and then make a right click on this downloaded file and choose run as admin click on yes so once the setup comes up you will have to give the all the permission install it and after that again restart the computer 
and if nothing works for you then this solution will surely work for you and that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed this video and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye